Hi everyone, this is Jonathan here. I'd like to share with you a story. I saw a patient last week. Uh, he is a bikey. He's got a great big bike. And um, for those of you who don't know, I, I live in New Zealand, which is a very beautiful country. I live in the North Island, and I'd been seeing this guy for quite a long time. Uh, he'd had a previous surgery to his neck, and the surgery had not really helped, that sort of reduced his arm pain a little bit, uh, but following that, his neck pain never got better, and then it had slowly got worse, and it was hugely intrusive. He had this pain in his neck and ran down into his arm. Uh, and I was in the process of working out what to do with him. Uh, he, uh, just to give a, a perspective, He'd had the surgery about four years ago, and so he'd had four years of chronic, uh, uh, increasing, big deal pain, which was screwing up his life. Now, he went on a holiday on his motorbike. I'm sorry, one more thing. He um, worked as an IT consultant, and his worst times were sitting in his desk. He was actually one of these you would think, lucky people where he could work from home. And so he would sit down at home at, at his desk, which was amazingly ergonomically worked out, this and that and the other. He'd tried a standing and a sitting desk, and he had everything worked out. And quite quickly, within a very short time, his pain would come on, and it would be terrible, and he'd have to get up and move around it. And so working had become a real issue for him as well. Okay, so now... He went on this holiday. He got on his bike and he went traveling around the South Island of New Zealand for three weeks. Uh, the South Island is totally exquisite. It's, uh, it, you have, um, it, think of anything beautiful in the world, it's there. These magnificent, huge glacial lakes, big mountains, beautiful waterfalls, beautiful rainforests, huge plains. Uh, it's just an exquisite place and there's space. So he went on his trip and he came back. And I said to him, oh, how's the trip? He said, he actually wasn't a man of very many words. He said, good. So I said, that's great, great. And, and how was your pain while you were on the trip? He said, uh, uh, yeah, no, it was okay. I said, what do you mean okay? He said, well, it wasn't there really. It didn't bother me. I said, really? He said, no, 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 no. Yeah, but he said, it's come back, that's why I'm here. So I said to him, isn't that interesting? He said, no, no, I was on holiday. And I said, but what did you do while you were on holiday? Well, I rode my motorbike. What's it like usually when you ride your motorbike? Well, yeah, yeah, it usually hurts me. Okay, that's interesting. What did you do? He said, oh, I went around the South Island and I would stop at places and there were, I had quite a few friends scattered around. And he said, you know, I do IT and they had computer problems. So I'd sit in front and I'd sort of fix, sort out their computers. And I'd say, and then I said to him, and? And he said, and what? And I said, and did you have pain while you were sitting in front of their computer? He said, no. And I said, don't you think that's interesting? And a little light went on. He said, now that you mention it, <laughs> And you see, this is the fascinating thing. So here we have a man who's had surgery. He had four years of terrible pain. In particular, the pain was when he sat in front of his computer. And he had worked out in his mind it was because of his posture that he was doing this particular thing that set off his pain. And he'd done things to try and help, but nothing had worked. Then he goes on holiday for three weeks. And in his holiday, he does the same stuff that he was doing when he was riding his bike and sitting in front of computers, and yet he has no pain. And the fascinating thing is, he doesn't notice that this is utterly and completely, mind-bogglingly amazing. So when we explored it, so then my question is, why is it that you can have four years of unremitting pain, and then for three weeks it magically goes away, and then you come back 
and bang, your pain has come back again. It didn't, it took him a week, because that's how, that was our arrangement. He'd go away for three weeks, I'd see him the week after he came back. His pain was back. It was exactly the same, as severe. So the fascinating question, the big question mark is why? Why is it that this really tough man of few words who really doesn't over, overplay anything, in fact, completely the other way, how can he have four years of unremitting pain and then go away for three weeks, have no pain, and then with the, within a week of coming back, all his pain is back as intense as before? The answer lies in his, in his pain system. The answer, this is what I call a reactive type of pain. It has to do with the dance that occurs between our mind and our body and the thing that connects them, which is our pain system. If you want to learn more about this, go to lifeafterpain.com and there's a quiz, and the quiz will include, click on, take the quiz about what type of pain you have. This, what I've described, is the reactive type of pain. I encourage you to learn more about this. Of course, remember, knowledge is power. Thank you.